So there's this argument against third parties, and you've heard it, and I think you have a pretty good answer, uh, that if you don't vote for Donald Trump, then you're voting for Hillary Clinton. And uh, wouldn't it be better to support the lesser of two evils? Go ahead and support Donald Trump because he's better than Hillary, and at least he'll appoint some better Supreme Court justices. What do you say? I say that basically those things are all untrue. So untruths are the chief cornerstone of the arguments that Republicans are making to try and coerce us into supporting really a man that I, I consider uh, to be a reprobate. Uh, you know, he's not a run-of-the-mill sinner. Uh, he's someone who not only committed serial adultery, but went into a book that he was writing and bragged about it. Uh, that's the mark of a reprobate. That's not somebody that I want uh, in the most powerful office in our land and in the world. Donald Trump, and I'm speaking directly to Christians right now, chaps, he despises you. When he stood up and gave that speech in Cleveland, you know, he threw a few moldy scraps of bread to the evangelicals who support him, but you can just tell from his demeanor. He's not one of you. He doesn't believe what you believe, and you can't trust this man. You've got to start raising up people who actually represent you if, as you say, you believe, we are supposed to have a representative self-government under God. 